What up everyone? So seeing as Fisher seems to be the number one topic on my channel, and it's about mid-July right now, and to be perfectly honest with you, trapping season is way too far out and I've got way too much of an itch for it to not do something related to trapping. I decided to show everyone my favorite foothold set for Fishers. It's kind of like a modified compass set. Now my preferred trap is going to be this Duke 550. I really like these Duke 550s. They're not too hard on the animal. Those nice thick jaws hold well without cutting off circulation too bad. But the way I set this is very different from the way I've seen pretty much anyone else set these. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I got my trap here. Now I like to measure out for a back foot catch. So I go two lengths of my hand apart. And that's where I'm gonna set my holes. I'm just gonna make these holes now. give me an idea and since it's my own yard I don't really care now, fishers are not exactly a timid animal as I'm sure most of you know so unlike with a coyote set or a fox set I don't care if they know something happened in the area they're gonna come in anyways so what I do is just cut out the whole area. Definitely need to be super precise. mark where your trap's going to be. Take your trap out, preferably without getting yourself caught. And just pull all the grass out of that area. So there we go. Got the area tore up, definitely doesn't look like it should. Definitely not natural looking. It's gonna catch the eye of any predator going by. Okay, so now that I got the hole dug out, I'm gonna figure out where my trap's going. I'm just gonna be right here, dead center. And my theory is, I wanna get the fisher inside this square. And once he's here, I want him to walk around everywhere, stepping on everything to try to figure out what's going on here. So, mark out my trap spot. It's gonna be a bounce there. Okay. I'm gonna make a hole for where my chain slash earth anchor is gonna go. I'm just gonna bed my trap. Drop the chain in the hole. Definitely don't want that chain getting bunched up underneath it. Cause you all kinds of problems later on. Trap ready to fire. It always helps when you have a pan cover that's nice and old and rusty. Yeah. 
try to use mostly the same dirt. Make sure this is bedded nice and good. You don't want it to move at all. Good to go. I'm gonna put a hole in the corner of each one. I don't wanna tilt them inward, so that way when the fisher comes in, it forces him to go inside of this uh, catch diamond. So now we have the catch diamond cut out. We got the hole set for each of the lures and the trap in the middle. Again, I'm, I've got these really far out because I want a back foot catch on that fisher. I want him to wander around inside of here a whole bunch until he's caught. So now I'm gonna need a few sticks. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna want for a lure is something that's a long call. Dunlap's Hellfire works good. This lightning in a bottle also works pretty good. We're gonna drop that down in a hole. On the opposite side of that hole, I'm gonna take something that's specifically a fisher lure. In this case, I think it's Hawbackers. Get a nice little amount on there. I'm gonna throw it in the opposite hole. I want this fisher to go around as many times as possible figuring out what's going on here. And just like before, on one side, I'm gonna take my bait of whatever kind. I don't really think it matters that much. I'm gonna drop it down in that hole. And then in my last hole, I want to use something that's very natural. In this case, a little bit of rabbit fur with some meat still on it. Stuff it nice deep in that hole. So he's got two food sources, one of which includes fur that he'll be able to see when he looks down in. And then two lures. And that's it. It's super simple. You can rough up the area around the trap if you want. And just make it look like something happened. And this should give him plenty of eye appeal. He's going to notice it from a ways off. And then he's going to come in and he's going to explore it. And once he gets here, the smells should keep him here long enough where he gets trapped. You got to remember fishers hunt more by sight than they do smell. That's why long distance calls are always very loud for fishers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.